Hi everybody, welcome back to Avo Tutorials. Today, I would like to share with you a trick that you can use on Figma to help you organize all your images when you export them into folders. Now, if you'd like to jump straight into how to do it, please look at the timestamp in the description. If not, do follow along with me so that I can explain why I find this trick useful. Okay, let's go into why I'm teaching you this. As a project manager or as a coordinator or as someone who's just working in an agency or it can even be a company where you're handling a lot of visuals or you have to compile all of them and sending it to different teams. For example, if you are a project manager and then you have to send out visuals to people in Singapore, in India and in Canada and think about the number of visuals that you have to deal with is in hundreds, in thousands. Sometimes all of this can get really complicated in terms of staying organized and you may miss out on organizing them into folders. This is where the trick will help you. For example, now you have nine visuals and the green ones need to go to Singapore, the pink one needs to go to Canada and the red ones need to go to the India team. I've seen a lot of designers and usually they will just highlight or select all of the visuals and export them at one go. In the downloads folder, they will expand the zip folder and then they have all their visuals here. And from here, they have to organize all the folders and dragging the visuals into the respective ones. So India and then Canada with pink. So now you see it's going to take quite some time. This is only nine visuals that we are organizing into folders. Imagine you have hundreds and thousands that you need to organize. How do we streamline this? So coming back to Figma board here, all we have to do is to name the visual with the folder name with a slash. For example, green needs to go to Singapore, right? And I'm going to name my main folder as SG and I'm going to add a slash in front. So that's sg slash 1. sg is the name of the folder. sg is the name of the folder. 1 is the name of the visual, visual A. So I'm going to do the same for sg2, sg3. And I'm going to do the same for the rest. So ca and in. Now we've given all of them their own folder names and let's highlight or select all the visuals and click export again. Okay, coming back to our download folder, when we expand it, you can see it's already organized in CA, IN and SG. In CA, I have my three visuals, in IN I have three and in SG I have three. So this is going to save so much time when you have to export a bunch of visuals all together. I know it may seem tedious to file name each visual on the Figma board, but once you have this structure planned out, tell your designers so that they can follow the folder that it should be organized in. Whoever exports it, it's going to be organized in a way that it is clear and it's easy to send to people who need it. Let's take this a step further. Some of you may ask me, how do I create extra folders within the existing SG folder? Now in Figma, all you have to do is to just add another slash, add a name and then add another slash in front of the visual. So SG would be your main folder name. And then for example, I want this visual to go to team one, organized as team one's visual. So team one, slash so it's going to be sg slash team one slash one i'm going to do the same for number two so i want this to go to team two slash and then i want this to go to team three okay so let me just export this three and now let's open up so sg is the main folder which is correct when we click into it you can see that it is already organized for team one, team two, and team three. Each visual is going to be 
in each of the folders that we have specified. There you go. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. I was mind blown when I found out about this trick. Please try it out and let me know what you think about it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and drop me any comments if you have other videos that you'd like me to do. That's all for today. Thank you.